Before I give you my thoughts on this movie, I need to take you on a little bit of a journey. In the days leading up to the release of this film. If you don't want to deal with that, I'll have a time code for you right here or in the description. There you go. You can carry on to my general thoughts. But I just, I had to share this with you guys. You see, I take spoilers very seriously. I don't like them. No, it's not going to make a movie any worse if I know what it is, but I am still a fan and I'm not going to be ashamed of that. I like going on the journey set out for me by the creator of whatever project I am consuming. Yes, I had seen the trailers, but I knew there were still a couple of secrets left in the movie and I wanted to experience that firsthand. I somehow managed to avoid all the leaks and even though the movie had released earlier in different parts of the world, I had avoided all of it. I didn't even know how people felt about the movie. I didn't want to know. I wanted to be as fresh as possible, but I still wanted to see the movie as early as possible. So, when I heard that they were going to have a fan screening two days before the official release, of course I signed up. Unfortunately, the closest one to me was in San Francisco. That is a near six hour drive from where I live. But I was committed. And really, is there a more fitting city to watch a movie from this franchise than in San Francisco? Well, yes, there is. Actually, it's Redding, California, because as it turns out, they expanded the amount of theaters that were going to do the fan screenings, and Redding is just a couple hours away from me as opposed to five and a half. So, hell yeah, I wasn't going to drive that long for just a movie. Are you kidding me? I've been to San Francisco plenty of times. I know what that city's like. But it was still a bit of a drive, and I decided to make a day of it. I had avoided Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, the dum-dums in my Discord server who can't follow rules even though they've been posted like five separate times by me. Thank you to the mods who managed to keep me away from that stuff, by the way. Just use common sense. That's all I'm asking. Just use common sense, guys. Yeah, I avoided everything. So I made my way down to Reading, popped by the Target, finally got to see Knuckles in store for the first time. Thankfully, somebody's already secured me an action figure, so I didn't need to pick this one up. But it was still just nice to see this finally. I'd been hunting for this for a long time. Even saw some Toy Factory plushes, which unfortunately I didn't get because claw machines are ripoffs. And even treated myself to a Happy Meal and got myself a little Sonic toy and this cute little chocolate milk thing with tails on it. This is actually my second Happy Meal. My first Happy Meal, I didn't get a Sonic toy, even though I specifically ordered on the app a Happy Meal with a Sonic toy. I'm a grown ass man. It's already embarrassing enough that I'm ordering myself a Happy Meal. I didn't need to go through all this just to get a Toadette. Sorted out McDonald's. And hey, while it's nothing Sonic related, I still managed to track down some Jurassic World Dominion minifigures that I've been looking for for a while. Even got myself a shiny Giganotosaurus. And that's just the best. Oh, it's the best. And we had been planning on adopting a little special needs box turtle. And since I was in the area already, I also got to pick her up as well. So yeah, a day full of turtles, dinosaurs, and Knuckles. I could not ask for a better day leading up to this movie. And when 6 o'clock was finally rolling around, I got myself over to the Cinemark in Reading, parked my car, got my phone out, got my ticket, walked up to the attendant, handed off my ticket, got that exclusive comic and poster, and walked my way down the hallway. But as I stood parallel to the door that would lead me to the screen, that same attendant, who mind you, is still down the hallway, turns to me and yells, down this hallway. Oh yeah, the art for that poster is cool, but I really wish they put on it. I heard they were in the movie. All that effort just gone to waste in a moment. Thanks to this attendant who was just trying to make some small talk. And you know what? I actually know this attendant's name. One of his co-workers had called out to him, and wouldn't you know it, he's also named Nick. So yeah, for a couple of reasons, that name of his will be burned in my head forever. And of course, it's someone else named Nick. So yeah, maybe this whole section is a little selfish, but I lit up to this just so I could dedicate this moment to Nick. Nick, buddy, pal, you work at a movie theater, working a shift during an early fan screening. Now, maybe it's a little presumptuous of me, but I would assume working at a movie theater surrounded by movies and movie goers, movie lovers, you might understand how important it is for some people to experience this movie firsthand without having details spoiled for them. Do you know what a spoiler is, Nick, who works at a movie theater handing out comics and posters to fans of this franchise? I'm about to watch a movie for myself. I don't need you to tell me anything. You keep your goddamn mouth shut and you hand out those posters. Yeah, I know I'm going, Karen. I don't care. You think I did? Of course I made a scene. 
Are you kidding me? I turned around. I was just like, arms in the air. I'm like, dude, I'm about to watch the movie. What are you doing? And he's like, oh, don't worry. It was in the trailers. No, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, it was. Dude, I haven't seen the movie. Like, you just said that you heard it from somebody. It is literally my job to know if it's in the trailer. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Was this your plan all along, Nick? Did you know I would be showing up at the Reading Theater? Were you a government plant this whole time? Conspiring against all my love and joy in the world? Snuffing out the last few bits of excitement I feel in these weary bones? Did you get what you wanted, Nick? Is this how you get your kicks? Is this how you get your jollies? Is this how you cream your Twinkies? Carefully laid trap, but at just the perfect point to tear me down to my cold, naked core. What did I do to you, Nick? How long have you been plotting this, Nick? How many years was this plan in motion? Did you put in as much effort to ruin my fun as I did to not get spoilers? No, of course not. There was no conspiracy, was there, Nick? No way you would put in as much effort as I did. You're an agent of chaos. You saw a pristine opportunity and you snatched it. You snatched my joy away, Nick. You son of a bitch. I will not rest until I've had my revenge. Do you hear me, Nick? I will not stop until I have found a movie you're excited for and tell you a random little detail about it that will make you go, oh man, I wish I kind of saw that for myself and you'll never see it coming. I swear this to you, Nick. What a garbage name for a garbage man. Were you just mad that I got the limited edition Giganotosaurus? Do you even like dinosaurs, Nick? What are you, sexist? Against dinosaurs? You probably don't even like Sonic, do you? You don't even like Sonic? Do you have to blabber your dumbass mouth to me? Like I haven't seen a trailer? Why do you think I was in the movie, Nick? Think I hadn't seen the trailers? Think I just decided to come to this fan screening willy-nilly? You piece of trash. You garbage. You're garbage. Why does this always happen to me? Why? Why is my life a sitcom? Why can't I just enjoy things anymore? Nick! What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Sonic 2. Yeah, it was pretty good.